Many of us succumb to the allure of ocean beaches with their golden sands, their enticing blue waters, and the awe-inspiring majesty of scenic coasts, ever subject to the merciless pounding of white-capped waves. But being coast dwellers, when holiday time arrived, we sought fresh fields, a change of scene, away from these watery wastes and sodden climate to the comforting warmth of the sunny north. Well, how are we to know that they'd had seven inches of rain? The greater part of our holiday tour was spent in the Marysville district, which is surrounded by great forests of dead timber, stark evidence of the irreparable destruction of the 1939 bushfires. Marysville is truly a district of picturesque waterfalls, most of which bear the name of a pioneer of the district. The closest of these is the Stevenson Falls, which cascade for 300 feet. Robart, another of the early settlers, established a lookout overlooking the Cumberland Valley. It is below this point that the Cumberland River is joined by the Coralin Creek, to form the meeting of the waters. Skirting further down the ridge, we encountered the lace-like Coralin Falls, nestling in the shadows of the renowned tall timber, some of which tops the dizzy height of 300 feet. Returning via the opposite side of the valley, we caught occasional glimpses of the Cumberland Falls, which, for the most part, are hidden by dense undergrowth. Further north, we visited the ill-fated little town of Talangata, which was connected with Albury by a diesel locomotive. Extensions to the Hume Reservoir being now complete, and the water level raised to a new height, the old site of Talangata is now inundated by the Mitamita arm of the reservoir, which lies between the railway and the distant hills. As we saw it, Talangata was just a quiet little town in which we slept peacefully and undisturbed uh, except perhaps for an occasional Holden passing in the night. Talangata is only 40 miles from Albury, and it was from Albury that we visited the Hume Weir and the Murray River arm of the reservoir. A short distance from the weir along the Murray River arm, access to the town of Bathanga is provided by this unique bridge, which is claimed to be the only nine-span steel bridge in Australia.
Unfortunately, our holiday was in no way unique, as it drew to a close all too soon, but not before we had experienced a taste of what eventually turned out to be the sunny north.